Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our no shot run where we are smashing it at the moment. We're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty without shooting a single shot and no shot has been shot so far. Uh, also we're not using explosives or heavy weapons. It's time for Operation Gilded Dirge which is uh, the I think the last uh, um, Golden Path mission where we're trying to collect the uh, data from the black side vial. We're going to go in with our A team, really, just to make sure that everything's going to play out nice. I would guess that we're not going to run into much trouble. I would even say we're probably going to f be flawless on the mission, but let's see if there is uh, maybe a surprise or two. Avenger, the facility is in range. Move to investigate. Fantastic, we just landed and our double agent has yet again spawned another elite trooper. So that's going to be one less soldier that we actually need to kill. So onwards, uh, my good friends, we are off to find the first pack. Seems that uh, pretty much over here we're going to probably have to uh, a larger area that we're trying to fill like this middle section here the landing pot is usually the oh, biggest oh, oh. area where enemies are running through Moving out. going to take oh, Eric Hopbite uh, just into the front Everybody else just follows at this point in Sonar. He's taking the back. So far so good. Easy peasy. Let's see when we're going to hit the first uh, enemy pack. I have eyes on the enemy. This very much looks like one that could have had a trooper in it. So kind of um, Codex plus Double Trooper would be a typical combination. And I'm not going to debate it for too long. Not quite, it's just directly going to open. Uh, I've done the same trick a couple of times. When codices uh, start to be revealed, you can actually hit them and then they will move away. So that'll trigger Blade Storm. So they are, they are not teleporting away. And we got an Elerium core. Even better. Triggered another pack. Uh, that is actually not too bad. Good, Roby could charge in. Or we could uh, inspire at the same time. You know what? Let's go with the route of maybe inspiring. Uh, just double checking, domination. See, and that is the power of the upgraded, uh, the upgraded uh, Psy amplifiers. So, six to eight on soul fire that's fantastic three on average on uh, insanity when we're looking at void rift it's up to six points of damage and null lands yeah 9 to 14 not 9 to 15 that's good explosions do the normal uh, damage so that's pretty damn good the reason why i am so hyped about it is also that our chance of dominating just goes up usually it was 26 percent or 50 50 even on uh, those guys and now we're up to almost a hundred percent fantastic we will overcome. good we're heading over just one action And Hogfight here is cleaning up the floor. Holy shit. Uh, 
gets the whole momentum and with momentum we're just going to walk him up here because Bladestorm is going to take care of that fool next round. Don't even need a Mimic Beacon. Quite the contrary, sir. We're okay without the Mimic Beacons. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Noxus is moving up. And our moving Mimic Beacon, the Trooper, is moving up as well. Sonar. I'm supposed to hold everything together kind of from the back line. Good to go. It's gonna go here. Alright. Hogbite is just mercilessly slaughtering them. And that's like two pegs gone already. Four down. I think we had 17. A fifth one because we had a traitor here, one of the elite troopers. So what we're really looking at is more or less 12 of them left. We're going to conceal oh as Roby becomes our new scout. And in order to speed the whole process up, I'm going to go in aggressively. Roby moves up. Nothing to be seen. And that's when we are going to follow. Location confirmed. Normally I would play that here much, much more careful. But we're so far in the end game, and Solid this shot. troop here is A++ in strength. Right. Uh, and we have so many fallback scenarios that realistically, even if we were to probably trigger the entire map at the same time, a team here would still be able to um, handle them even without uh, shooting a single shot. Sounds crazy. You better believe that it's true, because with all of the Mimic Beacons and kind of a kernel uh, setup, action, um, uh, action points that we can shift from one to the other, th there's just so much uh, damage output and stalling, uh, two, times, uh, mm, uh, two times stasis, Two times mind control. Moving the designated coordinates. The AI is not able to keep up with that. Obi's moving up, like I mentioned. Double moves all the way, except Hopbite, of course, he's moving too fast. He's only allowed to do a single move. Alright, Sona moves Stepping up off. to get a better look. Edgallion Poe moves up. Dark Taranaxis moving moves out. up. Effectively, everybody moves up. And uh, that is that. Hey, you hear anything? Like I said, got 12 enemies left over. Realistically speaking, it's probably one big fight that's happening. Apex should be uh, Apex should be kind of inside, so it's three. Uh, then we got the sector port pack and maybe this pack. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is kind of the second, uh, the, the last patrol and kind of the second last fight. Let's move up. Charging in. Yep, that's some respectable damage. And I was absolutely wrong. We just so happened to run into another patrol. Funny. Hilarious. We have nothing to fear. All right, now is where we will see how all of uh, that, um, how all of uh, those nice cooldowns are all of a sudden uh, working well in our favor. Heading there now. Oh, 
Yeah, let's just move to the Lancer. Oh, fantastic. That's a pretty nasty hit. Good. We could combat protocol and take this guy out. Might as well do that. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. Of course, minimum damage, which kind of forces my hand here. As I was really hoping that we would not need to go through a full set of Reaper actions. But it is what it is. Alright, one down. Just making sure that the Elite Lancer will die. Not just of um, Bladestorm, but effectively die die. Now nah, we're going to save our we're going to save our uh, axe for the sector pod. On your order. All right, got an inspire left over. Let's see what else we Is would want to do. We're using hogbite. Hogbite oh, definitely needs to deal with the Purifier because he's the only one Im immune to its explosions. Alright, don't need to deal with that really. I don't understand why exactly we would be able to inspire Roby here. Let's try again. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And Roby again just sets him up. Even if he wouldn't have uh, dealt enough damage, uh, the Bladestorm would have killed him. I'm not going to engage in any Reaper activity, nor am I going to uh, do a fuse explosion here although that would be funny we're just going to literally end the turn all right the guy decided to not cooperate okay fair enough he was just not doing anything Good, we're concealing ourselves yet again. And after we've successfully eliminated all of the patrols now. Let's continue to move on. Ed Galleon Poe moves. Hogbite moves. Dark Tarnoxus begins to move. Got it covered. Our Mimic Beacon that we actually do not really need. The Trooper also haven't used the Archon yet. Sona moves over and Roby moves over as well. All of that triggers because we already know that no one is there. So just safe movement uh, and fast movement to get to the next position. Okay. Let's continue to spot out what we're working with. Oh, it's interesting how how it has not rendered uh, the sector port. I was kind of under the impression there might be something standing right there, and I knew it was a sector port, but. It didn't show where exactly it was sent. Ooh, and now it began to show itself. Well, look at you. No retreat. Advanced teamwork. Before we're then going to haywire protocol and see if we can shut this guy down. What's, our, what's even our chance? I think 50-50 probably for a shutdown, right? 
No, it's better than that, so might as well try to do it. Cool, we could have taken it over. It being stunned means it's kind of free for all at this point. Still not a hundred percent sure. Oh yeah, I was about to say, why is that sector port alone? No, normally they come in a pack. Okay, fantastic. So advanced teamwork. Oh, but. Is charging in. Well protected. Good. We're going to parry. I'm with you. We're going to dominate, just because that's an insta kill for this uh, for this guy. There's really no need to fight it when we can simply say, join our side. Shout out to the two Archons that are just hanging around as pets. Let's start hitting the Spectre a little bit. Already mentioned we're going to throw the axe. I think we're going to use it against the Spectre. Just to make sure we're getting a one shot in case he starts to take someone over with Shadow Melt. Okay, that is not what I was looking for. I was hoping we could somehow hit this guy. <laughs> it's funny how both of the shapes are actually blocked. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's give over a teamwork. Could have moved. Um, could have moved a tiny bit earlier. Is that the same shit? Oh my gosh! Sai, can you just play it yourself? All right, we're moving. It's all good. up um roby here might just want okay, to move go. a tiny bit further away comet protocol gets the sector port pretty low it's almost down Yeah, how quite would effectively kill it. Do something about that armor. No one is safe. Good. We're simply going to nuke it. There we go. Case closed. On my way. 
Fantastic. Good. Roby moves up as well. Edgar Alien Poe moves up. And all of our Mimic Beacons that are loyally standing here are moving up as well. Okay, cool. End of turn. Pretty simple. Like I said, we, we're pretty much stomping everything here. We're taking losses here! Oh, that's clever. I'm, I'm not sure if he will join our rings after that. As an ally or as an enemy. I've never seen a shadow bound on a traitor. <laughs> it is funny. Good. Oh, Moving up. Working. We're soul firing this guy. Good, let's see. Is the guy going to join, rejoin us? Yeah, it, it is actually one of our units. Props for programming that correctly. I'm not sure if everybody will appreciate how difficult it is in game development to implement that and uh, do it properly for the eventuality that a random ability of one of your aliens would target... Um, that very specific case so it's like a niche niche case wouldn't have been surprised if he would have been an enemy essentially just using its model good end of turn i'm pretty sure we're only facing one more pack and then this whole mission should be over We've definitely triggered something. Yes. And judging by the subject's condition, I would say it was recently manufactured. No wonder they just keep coming. Oh, there's the Andromedon. Scary, scary, right? Reaper, and we are going to kill the Viper. Target neutralized. Fantastic. Let's kill the second Viper, hopefully. Astonishing. Very nice. And we're hitting this guy. Probably shouldn't have moved in front of the door, but so be it. On the move. Moving over. Time for some Null and Shenanigans. Holy shit, that was almost a one-shot kill. We're dealing just way too much damage, as you can see. I am confident, now that I see just how well our damage output behaves, that we'll be able to hold our own. I was for a moment worried that maybe the hunter with uh, his melee uh, immunity would be a bigger problem for us, but it just so happens to be okay. I mean, when I'm seeing just the damage output here, I realize 
that we're going to be okay. The Psy operatives with the upgraded um, amplifier are just a mean weapon. Say what you want, but well, it's pretty impressive damage. 15, uh, 15 points of damage against a fully armored target through the wall without it uh, having a chance to retaliate. Good. We're continuing to move up. It's a pretty fast-paced version of the mission. I can reassure you that normally it's not supposed to be played like that. One more pack in here. And then I think we're good to go. Good. Moving up. Moving up, moving up. I think everybody can be moving up now. Got it covered. I haven't used the single mimic beacon at all. Location confirmed. I don't. I I really did not feel that there had been any situation where it was even close to. Hey, you know what? I should mimic beacon or else. Already there. Um, our living mimic beacon might just stand there. Let Mr. Hogbite decide where he wants to go. Just need to find where these last fools have hidden. Nope, not here. Not here either. Interesting. Can't really see them. They could be... Uh, theoretically speaking, they could be on the rooftop as well, but I don't believe that that is what we're looking at. They're probably in one of the corners, and I've just this is Avenger. not seen range. them. Well, I was right. All right, moving, moving, okay, moving, okay, moving. Double time. And our psi operatives are also Roger moving. That. Good. Finish that turn. Move nearby. When he says enemies move nearby, it's on the rooftop. Yeah. Okay, so they are standing literally behind here. Moving up. Double attack. sure where exactly all of them are running to but yeah sure be my guest oh fight is mercilessly moving in and yeah he just killed two we'll send here that effectively is the death of the second one 
Roby charges up and hopefully takes this guy down. There we go, and placeable to okay. pick up the remaining scraps here, and end of turn. Alright, I almost feel bad for Edwin at this point. Oh, come on. Well, not sure why that took so long. I was trying to um, cut this in. Anyways, we gotta get out of here. Confirmed acquisition of the package. Move to evac. And once we're on it, let's just we'll appreciate that we can move there. Zirkim moves there as well. Sona moves it. out. Everybody else Watch can that. just move out. Hogbite. It's the fastest movement. He just moves up and starts carrying the unit. Alright, we're just positioning them in a way so that they will need to kind of run around uh, the two blade storms here. If it is a purifier, we might be effed because uh, he could explode and will take some damage. But most of uh, the guys standing there do have uh, uh, are summoned creatures. So only the rangers actually would take damage. It would be hilarious if kind of the only reason why we're taking damage is a purifier that just drops down here. That is not good. Okay, purifier like barely made it out alive. Let's kill that guy. There we go. One down, thousands to go. On your order. Again, moving up. The rift consumes you. That is big fat nice void rift. Circa moves out. Copy that. Roby begins to move out. And finally, Hogbite so also begins to move out. I feel bad for these uh, three here because they are sort of left behind, I suppose. I'm leaving the battle. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Good. We're getting out of Just here. In Let's go. Just in time. Ready to boogie. You know what? He was a good uh, double agent. Might as well take him with us. All right. He's like, see you later, guys. Let's get clear of the area. And that was it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.
good we landed we got no promotions but we got a pretty happy team within the confines of the suit we recovered we have found what could very well be the prototype new objective added cool that worked out well i'm keeping tabs on all our operations commander our people are standing by for your orders good quite a few of them require rest and i think are now shaken even which is hilarious because they were not uh, they weren't having a problem beforehand at least they haven't received any kind of negative repercussions of it let's just go through all of their abilities and see that they haven't received any any negative abilities no they have not uh still not on the highest rank so they can't upgrade their bond yet but i feel the psi operatives have uh, performed particularly well in the last run so that was good let's heal faster i'm not sure if that has an effect on shaken it has an effect on all of the other healing with shaken i'm just really not sure Good work. Continuing, and that is yet another mission where I'm pretty sure we're going to see the hunter here. Um, question is, do we actually need to do the mission? How much intel do we have? Well, point being is he will uh, the hunter will anyways be at full capacity. I'm not sure if this year will set him back, but then again, it's an interesting mission. Problem is fighting against the hunter without psi operatives is really not that much fun, and they are currently not here. And if I look at our resources, we do have 330 intel. So if we were to skip that mission, what would happen is we would lose that area. The area has no resistance network. We're really also not requiring a lot of supplies at this point. So I'm not sure if, if this here is any benefit for us at this point or if it would be I mean, the extra scientist marginal, we got like, what, nine scientists, so technically we could make it a 10 and 10. Hmm. You know, on the grounds of, well, we would be losing anyways, wouldn't we? Like it is, no, we wouldn't. We just need to flee, but we would be under pretty constant fire from uh, from the uh, hunter whilst we're here I suppose it's fine could be a dark VIP mission or a VIP mission I am up for a challenge even though we can't hurt him let's let's do that as a fun little mission we're going to take our major specialists here so that they can theoretically level up and ranger plus templar running a little bit short on rangers yeah we're running a little bit short on actual rangers but yeah we could theoretically take them uh, with us or simply ignore the bond training which we're probably going to do. Yeah, screw the bond training, or we're going to go in without that. So that frees up quite a bit more uh, capacity. Got two rangers, one Templar, easy peasy, two uh, specialists, not even a problem. And we could go with the third specialist, to be honest. Would be a bit of a weird combination because we would have like a lot of specialists. 
But then again, the Chosen actually is vulnerable to Comet Protocol and to almost nothing but Comet Protocol. So, yeah, that from that standpoint, it would make sense. Yeah, I'm agnostic. It's fine either way. We could also take one of uh, the other uh, rangers. So we're going to do it uh, one way or the other. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, this brings us to the end of this episode. We're going to rock on and finish this campaign. I'm in a good flow at the moment. So let's uh, do the other missions that are necessary and then uh, wrap it up uh, with a nice finale with a pretty uh, good team. You've already seen like what the A, a team could do. Uh, I think we have good chances to, uh, to go to, uh, through Waterworld. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.